And we are back once again with Slime Isekai Memories. Today we are doing uh, Tower of Isis Loop Loop a Loop Loop Loop. I'm not entirely sure how you say that, but we'll be doing a bit of this. I don't know how long this is going to take, but we'll be doing a tiny bit of it. Hey, it happened again. You know, some defeated enemies will just vanish into thin air along with their corpse. Is that normal? Negative. The magical beast you have defeated appear to have sucked into their own pool of blood, which suggests summoning of some nature. Sucked into their own pool of blood? What kind of horror movie is this? Curious? In that case, consider yourself invited. Where? To Loop. Loop Loop. Loop Loop. Okay. It's an old haunted house built for some fun some time ago. What? The sensation again. Uh, I feel more and more nauseous every time the memories of this place are altered. Oh, this place again. Those delusions. Is it this time? It's all the mirrors. As far as the eyes can see. I always feel like they're gonna pull me in just looking at them. Ah, then be my guest. Tell you the truth. I abandoned this space because it was too much to handle, even for me. Isis. I knew it. Hang on. What do you mean, too much to handle? I forgot how long this, how long ago this was, but this was the, was the perfect, pitiful demon in an icy tundra, who was in need of an incantation. So I performed a little experiment on him. An experiment. I tried activating megalomania on the demon through the mirror of ice, just as I had thought. Just as I predicted, the demon stream was so, so incarnated. Too incarnated. Then in the mirror, you'd have incarnated demons who'd wish had been fulfilled correct. Assuming your story falls its course. Well, that's where my experiment comes in. I was curious to see what would happen if I reacted megalomania again on the demon of the mirror with his dream already realized. You mean to say you asked him what his dream was after he already achieved it? Why am I only getting bad feelings about this? Uh, well, this is the space that was created when I pointed another mirror at the demon's reflection. The result was infinity mirror of an infinite cycle of dreams spawning dreams first it was new companions then a more powerful body then it was evolution there was no stopping the snowballing desire yeah after someone gets something they usually want a new dream a new goal so it means that kind of makes sense if if like one mirror gets his desires and then and then you put a mirror at that other mirror to get like another desire because that person achieved it in that mirror world then he achieved something new in the next mirror world and boom 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 new 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 every mirror you see here is a waypoint of endless desire as you get further in they form a town and the monsters become increasingly numerous and more powerful 
Aha. Uh -huh. Don't you think it's identical to the ideal town of yours? After all, I'm positive the people here must be watching you guys through the mirror. Who knows? Maybe you'll find some doppelgangers of your friends. So, how about it? Pretty cool attraction, don't you think? Oh, stop kidding yourself. A perpetual motion machine that generates more monsters. Once it runs out of the magic heals, this place will just disintegrate. Wait, don't tell me. The monsters that kept spearing into puddles and mirrors were... It's been sustaining its own magic supply by sucking in living beings. I'm sure there are no shortages of mirrors in Tempest, so I'd be worried about leaving this place abandoned if I were you. As I said before, I'm not in control anymore. Your move, chief. You can't be serious. A dungeon of mirrors that expands infinitely by automatically sourcing out magicules? We'll have to get rid of every mirror in Tempest. Like all mirror worlds so far, defeating the enemies who's drawn come true should create an opening for us to escape to the reward. That being said, in other words, we have the option to go back each time we clear a stage. But the fewer we clear, the more we might pay for it later. It's a game of chicken to see who breaks down first. Would be Loop Loop or you, Great Rimuru. Gosh, either way, it's a huge help for me. And our latest guest in the House of Horrors is one janitor. Coming right up. <laughs> hey, let us out of here. Ugh. That girl is nothing but trouble. Floor start one. Select a route, following by tapping one of the mirrors. You will encounter mirrors. Uh, defeat them, get rewards. In addition to enemies that will find spirits that will give you treasure chests and enhancements. Get rewards, get enhancements. The detail buttons to get overall floor. You can see two squares ahead, the mirror route. A boss awaits you at the end of the floor. Boss detected. Recommend it. obtain enhancement from spirits. Seventy. One time reward only. Uh, I guess I'll go for this one. Okay. Uh. Hold on. You can see the overview of each floor using the map. Your vitality decreases by one. Press and hold to confirm the remaining. Fully recover in about a week. Or use it all up every week. Complete each floor in advance to the next. The troops retain all damage received in battle until they advance to the next floor. You will get rewards not available in any other quest. It's coins, equipment, awakening materials. Turn to previously for and get uncontrolled rewards. Collect all treasures, chest rewards, to a marked floor. So is this all enemies? Okay, uh, how do I go back? Floor details. Guitar wolf. Clear rewards. God damn, you get so many stones. Crystals. Oh shit. 
low power mode. Okay, there. Advance. Okay, what happens if I get everything? Increase all eyes, secret gauge. Start of... Start of battle. There are many lesser spirits wandering in the tower. Consume spirits to gain variety and enhancements. Enhancements are effective on the floor when they are received. Alright then, then we take on this... Forming a troop in Loop Loop. Loop Loop has its own troop assignment. When battle characters and troop are defeated, your protection character is also incapacitated. You cannot go back with an incapacitated protection character. Restore floor to exchange equipment. Okay, well. As what I usually do. Making brand new teams. Nope. A water team. A wind team. Space team. Rock team. Light team. And dark team. So we need a water. So cannot use. So hopefully we'll be able to win this quickly without taking too much damage. Okay, one with no damage. Good. My results got seven coins. Okay, let's skip that. Increase the amount of start a battle. Yep, Jeff. Just skip all these animations. Yes. Yeah, let's just go to battle with him. Okay, okay I wonder if the ability staff. Okay, so it means I have a hundred. Getting a hundred percent seems like you'll be able to make this real easy. Now I think I'm able to just trample all these guys at least on this floor.
Yep. Boom. Okay, battle complete. Wow, I may be able to actually go all 50. One time reward. Thirty match kills. Protection gauge by twenty five percent. All right, so so this makes sense to me. You want to go as far as you can. You want to try and go through the route that you think is most optimal. So it means either taking on enemies that are probably the easiest, that would give you the most rewards, and try and get all the bonuses you can while managing your valiantation or whatever it's called. Okay, that's interesting. So let me try and take on this boss. I'm pretty sure my rock team can take him. I'm pretty sure. Not a hunt. Damn it, I, I should have equipped them. This presence. This must be the fake Ranga from before. Whoa, whoa. Hey, how about toning down that murderous square a little? There's really no point in hiding yourself. Grrr. So, you want to try imitation? Well, yeah, you got a long way to go before you're compared to the real Ranga in that department. Grrr. You still have a bone to pick, eh? Well, in that case, I suppose I have to teach you who's the real hunter and prey around here. Massive magic fuel. Goddamn, with, with these bonuses, it's super goddamn easy. Okay, we can change the orange to blue, then get to 200%. 3,000. Gotta hit him with our all out attack. Quake Slash, 5,000. Wow, her attack doesn't even seem that strong. 3,000. Okay, we did like 40%. Damn. Damn, he did crit rate. Uh, let's see. For one turn. One turn. Ooh. Does quite a bit of damage. And he's got his ult. Gotta make sure to do as much damage as possible. We can't let this battle go on too long. Okay, he hit Geld. 
My man can take it. Just heal them all just in case. So hopefully this finishes him. Good. Easy enough. Okay, floor clear. What does that get us? 50 magic kills. One is cleared. Sword enhancement. The world is changing. Floor 2, start. Warachu be boss detected. We recommend obtaining secret skill gauge up. Use 10 by 10 in the towers. Okay. Okay, let me get these spirits. Increase wind ally secret gauge. All allies critical resistance. Yes. Okay, got twelve coins. Yes. Okay, I guess I go that way. It's good that nothing attacks you, and that you have to literally choose where you want to go. Damn, there's a chest over there that I would have to battle my way through. Ah, oh, damn it. I can only go towards these two. Well, I guess I'll, I'll take him on. Thank goodness my water team is a lot stronger than my than any other team. I kind of like this Qatar, Qatar Rip. Oh, it's only one guy. Yeah, he kind of strong, but he's not that strong.
But I see the effects only last for while you're on that floor. Okay, he's dead. Let's see, is there anyone with attack? No, there's no one with attack. Stop countering, you asshole. Okay, let's heal. Get that reward. It's another 50 magic kills or whatever. 30 magic crystals. Okay, Th this team should be able to do it. And this time, I'll equip these guys to actually get a little stronger. I feel like I'm being watched from every single angle. How many enemies are here? Just a regular Galbut. You're here too? Hey, what's that for? Ugh. Detecting a present that does not match the individual Galbut. The target appears to be a copy created by the Loop Loop. A copy? You mean there are more like the Dark Galbut and Ranga from before? Answer it is feasible that these copies are being created from mirror reflections in the real world, but the precision of the replicant appears to be less than perfect. Mm. On the other hand, doesn't this guy look like he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the real Gaba in a fight? He has acquired the experience in the competition for survival within the tower. Cool. Furthermore, the invisible Gaba not, is not the only one who it was copied. <sighs> of course he wasn't. Sheesh. Give me a break. According to my calculation, the magic kills in this area summarize are more numerous as were created by the effects lurking in the vicinity. This place is even more hostile than I thought. We'll wipe the floor with them. Ha, huh, we'll wipe the floor with them. The massive magic. Oh, he's so happy. We're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill this command. Oof. Damn, poison. How about that? 
Prepare to unleash your secret skill. Well, let me defend up. Let's unleash our secret skills too. Okay, let's see what he got. Okay, he did decent damage. But time to show him what actual damage is. Hold on. Boom, boom. Slash. Just gotta destroy his own student. I so far am really liking this mode. I kind of like how you're able to get bonus effects to make yourself stronger. Take on as many battles as you want. And then come back. Floor clear. Another 50. Fires magics. Like a new facility. Great. Floor changes again. Floor three. Earth attribute. Right. So let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, uh, here I can get my rewards. Oh, it's starting to load a little bit. I guess I'm doing quite a bit, but the game doesn't even know. How to handle it. Okay, let, let me just go back. So, 29 more. Let me go to that. So, I can increase gauge by 30% of battle. Increase fire allies. Yes. Damn, I wanted to go right. But I can't go right. Hmm. I got versus this enemy. What is this enemy? Best is dark. Okay. I've never really tried out my dark team, so I don't know how strong that they'll actually be. And considering I don't even have a full dark setup here. They should be strong enough to take these guys out, but hopefully they don't die themselves once trying to take them out. And I haven't seen a lot of these guys attack, so I don't know if there'll be anything too good. Oh, 
すでにここにこの程度か Okay, they don't do too much. Two turns. Nice and easy. Jesus, my battery's dying. Hopefully the game didn't... Okay, I was scared for a second. Plugged in my phone, so hopefully this won't die during ten coins. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I can take this on because I don't think I need to fear this. Should be able to take it on. Damn it! I forgot to put equipment on these guys. Ugh. I keep forgetting. She put a beat down on her for no reason. Okay, hopefully he just doesn't attack her again. I want him to hopefully attack someone else. Okay, good. So that means now I can heal them both. <laughs> yeah, that that's probably a very good strategy is to make sure you always heal before the end of the stage. <laughs> 